Hey guys, my name is Jane Jennifer and welcome back to my channel. It's monsoon season in India now. And this is the best time to find some live fresh crabs. And seafood is my personal favorite. So I decided to make my very own delicious crab recipe and I call it crab in green masala. And I do have a few tips to share with you guys that would take this recipe to another level. So stay tuned and come cook with me. To make this recipe, I have taken about four clean and washed crabs and give a small hit on the claws so that all the flavors are allowed to get in. And let's season it with some salt and turmeric and allow it to marinate until we prepare for the green masala and for the green masala i'm going to roast a few spices like elaichi cloves coriander seeds black pepper dry chilies and cumin seeds let's dry roast these ingredients and once done you can take it aside and into the same pan now we're going to dry roast some coconut Once done, get it aside. Into the same pan again, add a teaspoon of oil. Now we are going to saute some chopped onions. I've taken about two to three onions here. Saute the onions well because now we are going to grind this along with all the dry roasted masala into a smooth puree. To get that green factor into the masala, we are going to add some mint leaves, coriander leaves and 4-5 to five green chilies. Now just bring everything together with a little water and grind it to a smooth consistency. Well, the tip number 2 here is to puree the walking legs of the crabs with some mint and coriander leaves. Now this richly enhances the flavor of your gravy and I have learned this from the Bombay chef Varun Inamdar. And once the puree is done, let's sieve it to discard any tiny bits of crab shells. Let's heat 2 tablespoons of pure coconut oil into a kadai. You can take any oil of your choice. And once the oil is heated, let's pour in the beautiful green masala. Let's season this gravy with some salt, turmeric, coriander powder and red chilli powder according to your taste. I didn't want to waste any of that green masala so I poured some water into the mixing jar and uh, got all the masala out into the kadai. I forgot to add ginger garlic paste at the beginning so this is what I'm doing now. Once the gravy is half cooked, now we are going to add the marinated crabs into them and then again we are going to cook it for about 10 to 15 minutes. Now add the walking leg puree, soaked kokum and a glass of freshly made coconut milk. Just give it a stir, cover it and cook it on a medium flame for about 10 minutes. So the tip number 3 is to always buy alive and moving crabs. Never go for dead crabs as this could make a huge difference to your recipe. It's been 15 minutes now and as you can see the gravy has thickened quite a bit and the crab looks well cooked. So let's off the stove and it's ready to be served. So that is it from my side today. If you enjoyed my today's recipe then do give it a try this monsoon. 
and enjoy with your family and friends. Also, do like and subscribe to my channel. See you next time. Happy cooking. Bye.